<laughs> uh, right, okay, here we go. We're getting live on the side on the first map of the Grand Finals between Low Fly and Italian Death Squad. So here we go. Oh, going for the ins 2 one setup. You can see Snapcase there in his usual spot, but look at Ashley with a big rocket there. And it's a one on one between Snapcase and Ashley, and Snapcase is winning that one we won. But look at that, Ashley is just all what? over the place. My god, Ashley. Ashley, I don't know what he just did, but he just magicated something, that's for sure. <laughs> it's like a. Can he actually win the game? Oh, no. Can he too strong? Wow, wow, wow. Ashi. Three, two, one. As it can, one, Funny B. As he finds RGB. And that's not a good spot for Funny B taking a lot of bad damage. So look at that. Snapcase to the rescue. And Teos going to be found sandwiched between the two flight that's fun, players. That's what you have to do sometimes. It doesn't matter if you stop focusing the guy that you should be focusing. Just fo help your teammate. And then you can both just focus the other guy that's left. Two LGs are, are stronger than one. Oh. Rocket there. And Silent Sep, less with 88 points of health, takes the round a quick and extremely quick 3 0. Ashley Telefrag there is going to bode well for low fly as they get the ideal setup. Oh, Snapcase learns to fly right there, but Silent Sep once again getting so much free damage and again just a crushing victory on that round between low fly and IDS. They're doing such a great job here. In this Three, moment, you for two, one. It's not, they have to start stepping up their game and their tactics as RZD gets thrown off the main center of action. And Silent Sep, that was a very weird decision. Yeah, I mean, I think Silent Sep just did the worst decision there. He tried to follow si uh, RZD instead of helping his teammates focus on the other two guys. Three, two, and here we one. are. Oh, yeah, all, this is not a good spot for him. He, look, switching to the LG. Funny B knows he's got a brilliant engagement here with the LG. Honestly, he pulls it around. And that was Ashy. I was on Ashy's spot on that, on that part, and he Round just bounced in. everyone around, Three, making it so easy for two, his teammates to eat him. One. And that is a strong part of the rocket launcher. That's why it's good here. And look at that. Sunset bounces off RZD. He has to come back up now. Yeah, and, and now he's going to be face versus exactly. three. You cannot afford to, be, to get bounced off. Reminds me of gladiators. If you know your opponent is using rockets, stay out of the edges. Yeah, the step once again, he gets pushed off. That's got the jump pad. It's not an ideal situation for him. And look, this is a terrible round now for low fly. One on two for Silent Step. Great damage, but he's got two oncoming players. Nothing he can do. Tails are there. He had the worst position ever versus uh, Funny Bee, but his rockets are completely spot on. Three, two, one. Ashi is here. What he can no, do. not much. He's being focused by two players. Yeah, it's three. And low fly there. One on one situation. Tails goes down. Six to three. Low fly bringing it back into their hands here. It's three rounds each, I guess. Yep. And so that's very true. And snap case we're on in finally. You can see the rocket action here as he gets bounced up. Most of the most Nice situation rocket there. on into his teammate. But he did enough there. Yeah. Snap case did enough. He got the key. Rocket bounces and his teammates had easy time LG and then RC is left to fight off cannon, he will do so. Left with 95 points of health. Oh. Silent step. Doing damage there on the silence. Can he actually win the fight? Nope. Not it not stacked enough. That rocket almost doing a good job. Round and silence step. The man Three, two, on the cam. As he guns down Ashley with a lightning gun there. Who's gonna win this one on one? It looks like everyone's taking one on ones here. And slowly but surely, low fly taking think, down a yeah. five round vic uh, lead so far. I don't think KDS can afford to take one on ones. Their team play on Clan Arena should be better than uh, relying on individual fights. Oh man, see that's the wow. damage. Teos missed two rockets there. Yeah, you cannot miss two rockets on Clan Arena. If you miss the first, just stick with LG because when you're on the stairs and you use LG, the knockback will be so much good for you. So much good for that doesn't even make sense. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Same match, okay. Who cares? Silent Set once again. Ah, he gets destroyed there by see This time he missed the rockets. You can see the effect in reverse there on uh, Silent Set's point of view. As RCD right three, here two, is going to make one. amends for his team IDS. Coming on to Cannon with some great lightning gun work. Cannon bringing things back to some extent. But this is great now for IDS. One player left for low fly is uh, Silent Set. And he will fall. But match point for low flight they're in a comfortable Round advantage here as they just need three, one and two, I just need five. One. Oh, and there she gets completely cut off in that fight but 2v1 on to funny b these are the 2v1 situation the rzd has got to do so much for his team oh. misses the mid air he is absolutely done for and that's a 10 to 5 score and on a side i'm up this best of five between these two teams for the face it 
Road to QuakeCon, Clan Arena, 3v3 tournament here. And we'll move on to the map number two. And this will be interesting because that was a very dominant performance. I think the most dominant uh, uh, map we've seen so far from any team. I don't know. I think it, that was Trinity from IDS versus the ZSX team. Wasn't it like 10 to 3 or 10 to 4? I don't remember. It started like really heavy. I, I, thi I think it I think they brought it back to like 10 to 7, 10 to 8. Yeah, actually. probably. 10 to 8, I think it was. So I wonder if the teams are, if IDS feels comfortable enough to go into a 3v3 fight right now onto the bridge. I don't know. Last time we saw action here from Lowfly, they did it did a fantastic job yeah. really making the decisions <coughs> and like how, how to set themselves up. And we're getting live into this. Starts in five seconds. Low I fly. IDS actually picked this map, so I'm kind of interested to see what tactic will they use. Ah, she spawns on the bridge. It's always nice. Three, Funny B as well. Two, one on one situation. And Funny B with the rockets doing a good job, but he gets pushed back into the stairs there. And Ashi, 16 health, not much left for him to do, but hit rails from afar. But look at that. Bouncing around. Yeah, they're doing a 2-1. Two, two guys on the bridge and one on the rocket launcher. And the guy on the rocket launcher got ah, completely... The ins 2-1. One. Yeah, the ins 2-1 can get back to all the maps, can it? <laughs> <laughs> and it's make. always one on the bridge and two guys on the top. Yeah, and Sonnenset moving on to rail. Ashley with the challenge. Funny B with the help, but Sonnenset is going to pr provide even more help with the double rail. 2-1-2 uh, two two situation, I think it's favoring. Yeah, it's... Uh, oh, actually, I don't know how how the how the situation is here. It looks well, like it's relatively even, but RT doesn't have much. Oh. Oh. Silent Sepp versus Doza. Doza feels all the pressure in the world right now. Oh, that was a great rocket. Oh, he misses the rail. Doza's not railable yet, though. Silent Sepp is. He finds him. Oh, but the LG is so much better from Silent Sepp. Oh, okay. It, oh, man. He was looking for that rail shot, but he just didn't commit. Um, Round begins. Pez gets it. One on one. Three, one on one. Two, one. Rockets, rockets. Nice Pez. damage by Doza there. So much damage, bouncing everyone away. That's going to be an easy round for the Italian death squad, thanks to Teza. Yeah, round number three. Round, round number three. Teza. Three, Teza. Two, one. And let's do it again. No, he just not go very quickly there. Oh, but Honeybee, Bee. you cannot rocket jump when you have two players trying to chef you there. Nice, that great damage onto Teza there, but so much work was already done for IDS that they're going to push this forward two more rounds, or another round, making it two round in an advantage situation for them. Three, on the bridge, Teza finds himself one. again with the rocket in hand, he's going to try to make the magic happen again. Rocket jump back up into the fall, into the fray, into the action. There's a rocket jump back up again, and snap case is going to go down, and Funny B at least will finish him off, so they're bringing it back slowly. Round begins. Round in to set these three two apart. Two, one, fight. Funny B keeps falling off the bridge every time. They're doing a good job into bouncing him away. Oh, he's doing a lot of damage now. Yeah. Lovely play from low fly. Yeah, they tried to focus him when he went down, and he just did so round much damage. Back. In three, yeah, it can cost two, you if you focus the wrong player. One. Interesting bit of theory there as well. Like, as we go into this round. See the IDS Excellent. taking control of the bridge. Oh, it's Ashi versus Sunset. Sunset hits him. Not good enough. But yeah, it's an interesting bit of theory. If you knock a player off the bridge, you look. You don't. You don't want to focus that player. You want to focus the guys on the bridge still because you just took someone out of the action. You get more damage from that one player. So let him rocket jump up. Yeah. There you go. Ashi gets thrown away there. Sunset so stacked still. Let's have a look at the the stats here. Uh, we have a lot of damage from Sonnenset, 2.4k. Definitely the man for Lowfly right now in this camp round game. I, I like what um, Lowfly are trying to do. There. They figured out that IDS Ouch. only had one guy using rockets and they started using two rockets versus one on the bridge, which favors the guy that are using rockets because they're just bouncing people away. And when IDS tried to use rockets as well, they didn't feel as comfortable. Actually falling off, that everyone just bouncing everywhere there. Yeah, that's because yeah, there's so many rockets on the bridge right now. And low fly, a mid-level setup, is going to prove very. I mean, effective. after the last five rounds, IDS won one. Yep. They need to change their tactic. You cannot afford to just fight rocket to rocket versus TDM players. And look at this, they they change their tactic. They're not going to the bridge now. Yep, good stuff from them. And Sunset going to man the bridge still though. 
And that's great damage with the lightning gun. He pins someone down on that rocket launcher position. And it looks like the action's over at the rail with by falling back there. And Sunset going to try to cover the high angles. He gets one with Teza down by the rail gun. And Sunset makes his approach to that mid level. He's going to try to cut down more. And RCD going to catch him and actually coming in as well. But Sunset's going to have some support. Oh, great rail up the jump pad. Ah, oh, just missing the second one, but snap case is there and lovely round. Yeah, she definitely not the best place to fight when you're open to the rail angles from the other guys. It's like IDS going to go to the bridge again, and it's going to be a rocket fest once more. Sunset doing a lot of good damage there. Tesla goes down. Man, so fast. You, can, I don't know. You drop a player. I don't think they should be going to rocket festival against the TDM players. Yeah. There you go, Sunset once again. Catches actually the back there. Oh, this is some damage. He needs to get himself back up there. Oh, no. That was good now. I mean, they only the used case. one rocket there. One rocket and two, L and two LG. There's a whole of low fighting. They managed to bounce one Ooh, away, and this is the LG's all over, and they're probably going to win this round. Yeah, IDS looking great now, but everything can be clutched. There you go, the rails hit by Sunset. Another wow. one. Here comes the clutch. All of a plays. sudden, IDS are looking bad again. One-on-one, on one, Ashi versus Snapcase. Snapcase, 121 health, 66 for Ashi. Ashi, can you do it? Good sir. Spots the green pixels in the distance. Rockets coming oh. into play, and he oh. misses the flip wow. rail, and Snapcase does not miss the rockets. He's hitting 64% of the rockets. Pretty nice. And 8 to 5. One. Low fly running away with this in the grand final here, and Snapcase taking a lot of bad damage there, but he does get pushed into a decent position and he gets some does kills. so much. I mean, he just did about 400 damage, and he still has 100 hit points left. I think in Thunder, you always want to do more damage than the one you received, obviously. So 400 per 300 is oh. okay. Oh, was that direct? I believe so. That was a lot of damage. The RCD is still super stacked. Not anymore, he hits one rail, he spots another player up there. Uh, he spots a lot of player up there. And 89 health on yeah. Silent Steps. So Silent Step can go super aggressive with the shotgun if he wants. But does he realize in time that that is his option is very a very good option? It's in fact his best option is a shotgun right now. Mid-range shotgun. Ooh. Ooh, pixel rail, and now everything changes. Silent Step. Also, oh, oh, he sticks with the... He actually hit a pellet there, I think. Or a couple of pellets onto the Silent Step. Actually, right now, it's looking like IDS are going to lose because this is one more round. And here you go, amazing wow, performance. Wow, Silent Step doing so much there. Lowfly just beasting it on the bridge. Ashi versus the world right now. Let's check out Ashi. 34 points of health. He needs a miracle. And he needs it now. Oh. Snap case. Again, out. 10 to 5 for Wins. low fly. 10 to 5 indeed. I mean, this is looking like a very, uh, like a whitewash. We're going to see a whitewash. It is. It is looking like a, like a whitewash. And I think IDS is that to change the tactic a little bit. They cannot play as ag as aggressive as they would like to versus... So Which is low fly. You prefer to just see them all like standing on the pillars, yes. uh, like because like, that's like the most defensive position. Like, yeah. Like, the position where it's like, yeah, come to us. Yeah, just come to us. If you want to come to us, we'll have the first defensive damage. You know, it's interesting because I it's rare that I actually see. Uh, we haven't seen anyone play pillars. I think one round maybe. Yeah, I that's playing pillars. And I mean, quite common. From what I've seen of the teams that I think they're going to quake on and they are practicing their tactics, I've seen a lot of a lot of teams using that tactic because. Obviously, in here, I don't know, maybe the teams are already preparing that they, and they think everyone's at land, is, they're going to camp. So they're probably pr training the most offensive tactics by then. Yeah, I think, I think right it's a now one to play. I mean, it's something that should definitely be in your, your regimen because you need to know how to play that style. Because like you say, if you do come across a team this is better than, on, than you on the bridge, yeah. you need stuff to fall back to. You need to be able to play those defensive options, understand how to position your team, understand like the strengths of the position. Because like, the, the, the pillars area, you, you, ha you can shut down the choke point on the rocket launcher. You just have to worry about the approach from the shotgun and from people like rocket jumping but up. Like if, you're I mean, if you're in the pillars and, you and the other team knows you're not going to move, what can the other team do? They need to get in. How do you get in? How do they get in? That's that. That's the question. But we'll see. We're going on to... Anyway, no pillars in here. At least not like the campgrounds ones. Yeah, it's, almost as lost. it's almost lost. We'll probably see tactics like two guys on the LG and one guy on the upper 
yellow armor or two guys in the upper yellow armor and one guy in the LG, which is a more common. And the guy on the LG will try to just do a one individual fight versus the other guy in the LG or he use rails. And here we go, we're getting live. It is match point now if Lowfly managed to win this. Oh, they're all going three, to the upper three, YA. One. Here you go, on Ashi. And the upper YA is the point of con contestation right now. Ashi getting absolutely destroyed there. A nice rocket to save him, but still, it's a one on one situation. But look at Tilza. Yes, he didn't all take any damage. He didn't take any How? damage. And he already did 300 damage. How so look take, at that. How did he take no damage? I don't know. Uh, maybe I don't okay, know. Okay, I'm I'm, I want to follow him. Where does it stand? Yeah. Not take any damage. <laughs> oh, like, look at this. Look at this. Being so just spamming grenades. And he did oh more damage God. there. And he's doing a lot of damage, actually, without wow. taking much. He's got the magic. Yeah, I almost lost, but he, he's 62 health now, and it's just a two on two situation. Nice Let's damage on the funny back, game. Taking a new position now at the plasma gun area. And Canyon going to move around to the red, yellow area, depending on which game mode you're playing. Snapcase does have a lot area. of stack behind him as well. You can see he's waiting there. Oh, and he flushes out Ashley there with a brilliant rocket. That was a great result for Snapcase. He can fall back and be happy with that. Snapcase gets Ashley with the grenade. And so it's still the one on two right now. Can he keep magicating? And we're on to Snapcase here. Let's go back to Teza. Things look very grim for him indeed. And this is around. Look at that. Uh, funny be there just with the pinpoint action on the railgun. Three, and we're going to try to contest this one. yellow armor, the main yellow armor at the quad area once again. Great oh wow, Funny. this is just devastating for Funny yeah. and Sinus is having a field day. And oh. there's a slagging. Red That's not good. Uh oh. We don't like lag. No. Round we don't like lagging quite. Three, two, one, oh, why aren't we fight. pausing the game? Wait, it, the game is supposed to be paused. Yeah. Oh, that's what happens in Clanner when you pause and the countdown is on. The game resumes and there's no countdown anymore. Mm. Ah, nobody has. I mean, that's great. <laughs> I hope Teza makes it back swiftly. Or maybe, maybe another member of IDS can join in if that's not the case. But this is a very bad time. You know, generally when you lag in a grand final, it's not good. Yeah, I mean, it kind of puts you off. Stating the obvious, but I'm going to do it. can never be good. I'm going to commit to stating the obvious. Captain Obvious for the win. As we can see. Prepare I mean, Lofi just seemed like... Okay, IDS had some... At the opening round for IDS, with Taser not taking any damage, looked incredibly strong. And, I mean, looking at that situation, we're, we're saying, wow, IDS on this map looks like they can, they can bring it to a fourth map. But then Lofi started to take momentum. They started to be like, okay, we can, we can beat you on the upper areas. We, like we beat you on the bridge area, on, on campgrounds. We can beat you on the, the, the main yellow, the quad yellow area. Yeah. So, so I don't know. It's not, I don't know. I, I, we actually have uh, Hal on the server, the leader of IDS. Sturmy's little brother. <laughs> Mini Sturmy. Yeah, as Sturmy is around here. Yeah, Sturmy was over there earlier. I'm yeah, he keeps um, trying to make us laugh. Yeah, he's like doing weird dances and stuff. Oh, what's wrong? Studio has been quite weird today. Yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah, we had a guy crawling around. <laughs> what is this? He's just I don't know, we have crazy people here. Yeah. I think we could uh, double up as a, an asylum. <laughs> Mental asylum. Definitely. Yeah. We have some crazy people here in need of help. Oh, so uh, he came to the server because he created the server. Ah, and Taze is back. And so we had a 2-1 situation for, for uh, Lowfly. So at least I like recreating it in CA is not difficult. Like even yeah, Joel it's is just like the rounds. Yeah. I mean, it was 1-1. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's not like spending 30 minutes. Because, I mean, if you want to recreate a situation in Jewel, if you really want to do it properly, you have to go to the demo, see where the players were standing, see what items they've been taken, see what stack they had, what weapons they had, and, like, recreate everything. But this is just... Yeah, finally, you just start with all the weapons. Yeah. Create from... Uh, continue from the, the round score, as it was. Mm. And there we go. Exactly. Do you know there used to be this cool... Uh, 
a game mode in CPM called a Huni mode. Ever heard of that? What? Huni mode. Have you ever heard of it? No. It was uh, th the concept was that it was like a duel, and basically like you start and uh, wait, it's, it goes. What year? Uh, I don't know when this Huni. I think Huni mode was introduced in CPM like 2005 or something, but I don't know. Like it's still in the game if you want to try it. But basically, the idea is that you have a jewel, like like a normal jewel, mm -hmm. and you both spawn in in a in a spots which are kind of remembered by the server, and then you just play until the first frag, and then when you get the first frag, it switches spawns. It switches. What? Uh, so you always spawning. Uh, you're always spawning the same one. So it's like a round where like the first frag. Is, is the round. And then you, s you both spawn? So it's a duel, but just... So it's like v a lot of duels. Exactly, yeah. That's very weird. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's my take on that. So I'll just call it weird. It's an interesting concept, because the idea behind it is that you can like, kind of metagame your opponent the by thing like, is, that would you off the spawn. Cause that wouldn't really... I mean, yeah, that would just focus on the first frag. That wouldn't really focus on the control of the map or whatnot, because sometimes when you do the first frag, you kind of want to give that frag away, because you make like a very bad decision right after start, or you got a bad first spawn. And then speaking of which, go ahead. Do you think there should be basically in the game? I th I think that this should happen, but spawns which are predetermined for the start and are yes. only used in the start, yes. and just a short equal spawns. Yes. Okay, I think I there think are om only. Initial spawns or spawns that can only be, or maybe not. I but there sh definitely should be spawns that can only happen on the initial, and they should always be balanced. Yeah. I and if we go. A lot of spawns are already balanced. I, I think we're going to recreate the rounds first. Yeah, so it's, it's two to one. Oh, you mean like they want to get two to one on the scoreboard? Oh, are, are they not? Okay, it's okay I, with us. I don't us. know, man. I mean, I mean, we did just need to get to nine. Oh, seven. Yeah. No. Yeah, they're going to one one. Go left left. Go one one. Wasn't it two one? Yeah, it was two, two one. one. Whatever. Wins the round. <laughs> <laughs> round okay, so it's one zero right now. Three, and now two, low flight are gonna lose one. the round. Fight. Okay, so funny. Okay, 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 okay. They're just right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. So this now low flight are gonna win another round. So yeah, there should be balanced spawns because you shouldn't like because we've seen Three, some games where two, it's just but there's a lot of spawns that are balanced and people just play it that up. Like sure, sure. seven when you spawn at the grenades, people just drop the red and usually the guy spawns at the red. You need to listen to the sound cues and make ma make a decision based on that. Yeah. And there we go. Now it's gonna start. Three, but you should always have the ability to take one. stuff. Sometimes you don't have the ability to take stuff. So here we are on two one. Yeah. This is it. So we've recreated everything, and it looks like Low Fly are doing a fantastic job here. It's just one player from Adidas left. Ashley just gets demolished by the rocket worker Snapcase, who has been providing excellent rocket work throughout the entire tournament, and he has yet to disappoint. And here he comes up the jump pad once again, brandishing that rocket launcher once more. Oh, now he's disappointed. And this is bad. Yeah. Snapcase. It Finally, out of position, and here he's gonna sneak, 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 and sneak. RCD and Ashi are so stacked right now. Silent Sap goes down super fast. So one on two now. Snap case. Oh, he gets grilled from the back. He finds both the opponents, but they go down. What do, what do you think about the the quad yellow versus the LG? Because the LG one can be quite nice. Three, riding onto the grill duels, grill battles. I I mean I feel much more comfortable with just staying in the LG and shooting grail and panicking. Yeah, this this is chaotic. You don't know what it, it is very chaotic. I mean I'm a dual player, so Excellent. obviously I prefer more individual yeah. situations. Maybe they like the chaotic. Three, two, one. Here we are, Ashley on the camera. Silent Step gonna go down very quickly wow. there. And funny, up the jump pad, not optimal at all. And Ashley gonna go down though. And Lofly swing that round the rounds, and that's gonna go 4 3 now, the, fi uh, the score at the moment. And Funny B will show us Snap Case as rocket wow. work. Indeed, he does. But where's the rest of his team? Annihilate. But Funny B did amazing work. He's, he's doing a lot. I mean, but he's doing everything alone. Where's the rest yeah. of his team? <laughs> Finally, they come after Funny B did all the hard work. Finally, they come to win the round. Wow, that was a double rail, I think. It's Funny B. I, he definitely won that round. That reminded me of a, a thing. Another anecdote. Three, two, so they go out later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we are. Snap Case going at it once more. And look at the bounces. RCD is just. He just can't get his feet to touch the ground. And Silent Step with the LG. Look at that. Excellent. We should have another show called Bad Time Anecdote with DDK. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Three, 
Three, two, one. Sunset. Oh man, RDG getting two on one. Oh. With a perfect situation for a low fly. Does not shoot another well. Galad. Where is Ashi? Oh, look at that. Oh, he came, but he's too late for the fight right now. What can he do? Oh. He's in trouble. Yeah. Boom, again, long range, Sunset. He's looking for the angle. Sunset the game. Sunset, sunset is that kind of guy who will easily eat 100% rail. Because he just takes very comfortable shots. He's hitting 40%, but he, in TDM I've seen him eat <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> over 90. That's pretty awesome. And uh, right now, Sunset's in a terrible position. He's going to have to hit that 100% rail you're talking about. Or else he is not going to bring this back against two players from IDS. Look at the rails all whipping. That's and he's one. Cool. They, just need one. they just need one to hit. What is he, what is he doing? Oh my god. Goes there down. we go. They hit one. But they're still losing by three rounds. And there's only three rounds left for Lothai to win the tournament. So they, will, they can be the first team qualified. Ashley. Rocket, rocket, rocket against Funny B. They take each other out as a trade. And we move on to. Oh. Just everyone's dead. So in a 2v2, Italian Death Squad Round do win the fight because they have better LGs. Taser right now, not so much before, but oh, he falls down with Funny Bee. Funny Bee gonna get the better of that with the rail, and Taser comes in with the rockets. Funny Bee gonna make his assault, but look at this position held very strongly by RDS, and they're, they're taking it back lovely now. Lovely rail. They are indeed, it's only a one round, round separation. They need to win this. They need to win almost lost. One. Otherwise, they're going to go out to be a whitewash. Taser pushing away. Snap. Taser, oh, up the jump pad. You don't want to go up the jump pad. That is that is Quake 101. It's kind of funny that they went to the map called Almost Lost when the game was Almost Lost. No. Yeah. <laughs> I did not think about that. Nice, nice one. And here it is, two rounds away from victory. Oh, funny B failing all the rockets there. Yeah. And now he seems definitely going to lose this round. That's the impact of failing rockets. Yeah, I mean, if you go for the LG, you'll, you'll always do some damage. Round if you go for the rockets, if you miss two of them, Three, your team is screwed. Ozzy B getting hammered some round. Oh, wow, this is not looking great for low fly. And Ozzy B doing so much work there with his teammates. It's all down to funny B. He's got some decent health left. Okay, so this rail, is the first map where even if they lose, they will not lose 10 to 5. Ah, uh, yeah. Not enough work done by his teammates there. 8 to wait. Closing things up to Three, a tight two, game. IDS one. looking at taking this back, but they have to win this area back once again. Sinusep, so much damage with the LG. Sinusep just doing incredible. incredible wow, and IDS round, are one map away of actually winning the game. Wow, RZD is 69% plasma. Three, nice. two, I don't think he used it much though. And 100% rate. Oh, he's shooting rocket at his teammate. That doesn't help. This is not looking good for low fly again. What happened to them? They were looking so dominant and all of a sudden. I mean, the thing is, they all position in the same little room. Oh, snap case with three in Completely a row. Completely clutch. Absolutely phenomenal work from He the had Swede. no right to win that round. That his team was completely out position on that fight. They were all bounced away, but he just saved the round We're like a proper hero. His rockets as well, and man, one, two, three. And look at this, now they're gonna win the game. Wow. Thanks to that clutch round by Snapcase. And we have a whitewash. We have Lowfly just absolutely decimating their They didn't lose a single map. Them. No, they didn't. They didn't lose a single map, and they are looking really strong, to be honest. Yeah, they're the first team qualified for the finale. Oh, yes. Over the next three weeks, we'll have uh, 12 more teams playing. It's going to be four each week, which we will oh, invite. Nice, nice number work there. Yeah. Some call it math <laughs> mathematics, I call it number work. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going a little bit CGM now. Yeah. Numerology and all that. So, there you go, we have our victors, and I think that's, that's it. Play on Face It. If you enjoyed what you saw, if you like the look of CA, of course, you know, CA is the most popular game, mm -hmm. game mode in Quake Live. There's loads of people playing it. Just get on a server, play some CA, and hit up, hit up the CA on uh, faceit.com as well. On the platform, go there and register, and you can play the pickups, you can join solo, you can join as a team, you can do whatever you want, you, but on the, bo the bottom line is that you can play a lot of CA. Yeah. So there you go. So anything you want to say, Ins? Not really, just keep your eyes on Face It because we're going live again this weekend with the Pro CTF Cup and another Sunday Cup, the second. Oh yeah. The More second again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's, that's pretty awesome because I, I haven't cast 
really properly casted Jordan in like two weeks now, it feels like, which is yeah. really weird. It is weird. Really Anyway, uh, we won't keep you guys anymore. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Remember to hit the follow button and support us as much as you can. And if you like uh, any of our video content, you can find it all on Face.com and Face It VODs for all the VODs. And uh, we have a VODs channel now. So, yeah, we'll see you next time for some more Quake live action.